Hi, welcome to my video on how to create your office mix. In this class, as I've told you, because we're not going to be meeting face to face, you're going to be creating your business plan presentation by using this software. It's very easy to do. You are first of all going to be uploading office mix to your computer. You need to do that after you've uploaded the uh, Microsoft Office 365, which I'll be explaining in a different video. And then you can let the fun begin. This is going to specifically walk you through what you should include and how you should include things on your business plan presentation. So I hope you enjoy and I'll be um, walking you through this process. As you know, I'm going to be walking you through the process of how to create your own business plan presentation, having each person on the team use this software called Office Mix with PowerPoint 2013. I'm going through a previous presentation just to give you an idea of, of what you should include and how you should um, create your slides. Um, there'll be some tips on here that I'm going to be mentioning on Monday's class, and then you'll be able to really just be creative and create your own office mix. I'm creating this slide here to show you that certain times within your presentation you might just want to be completely full screen and get your points across and emphasize things uh, to your audience and that probably would be the best way to do it. The one thing that I, I want to mention because I do have some examples from a previous class doing a different project, you may want to make sure that the lighting in your room is good wherever you are videotaping. Another thing is you might want to try to have a certain background, possibly, that might not be conducive uh, in every situation, but you might want to have like a backdrop. I, in this case, have a chair. You can also go into your, depending upon what software you use for your webcam, you might be able to put different backgrounds. You can see I have a frame of me in a Polaroid picture. I did that through my webcam software. So you might be able to do that yourself. So we're going to move forward into a already developed presentation or business plan presentation. I'm going to walk you through like, the different parts. Here is the beginning of the Training Your Brain slideshow that was created last semester. And in each slide, what you'll do is you'll want to have a visual of your image. Um, you will need to create a thumbnail. And that would be the initial slide that would be the first slide that shouldn't have any video on it. And that slide will be what people see when they search you on YouTube. This is the first main section of the proposal, and this is called the Statement of Need. Notice that they have a separate sheet that, or a separate page or separate slide that sets apart each section. This would probably be beneficial for you to do as well. Doesn't matter how many slides you have, it just makes uh, a difference on the transitioning and how important it is so that you can transition from section to section. You should, within transitions, make sure that you introduce what the next section is going to be and also um, even give the name of the person of your team member who's going to be giving that section. So one final thing is make sure that when you're presenting that you're actually looking at your webcam and not just looking at the slide because if not, it won't seem like you're actually speaking to the audience. Here in the Statement of Need, this is the history section where there's just a few bullet points on this page. They didn't even need to put a bullet point. They could have had an image. They could have had just a, a couple of words. They could have had a graph, a chart. So don't feel compelled that you have to have words. You can feel free to have images or charts or illustrations as well. So in this case, the team would present to their audience or to the video this statement of need in the history. The next section of the statement of need is statistics. They wanted to make sure that people in their audience were aware of the statistics associated with their product or service. And so they created this and then they talked about this as well. This section is the company background. Now prior to the company background being presented, this presenter who, would, who was doing the statement of need would let the audience know that the company background will be next 
and that so-and-so or whomever the team member is will be presenting. So you want to make sure that there's clear transitions between each of the slides. Here is the company background. And they start talking about the idea of how their company idea started and where it began. And you'll notice when you are when you have transitions within your slides, there's a button up at the top where you click record, and there's a star with an arrow. And when you click that star with an arrow, like I just did a second ago, you can see that an animation appears. So if you have animations or bullet points that you're going to be giving one at a time, you can actually time when you plan to do that using this Office Mix. Here's the press release. They decided that they wanted to include the press release within their presentation. This is not necessary, so you don't have to include this. But if you wanted to talk about how you're so excited about this product that you decided to um, send out a press release informing the public about the product, the service, in this case, the innovative new company, you can do that. But again, this section is not necessary. And they included an animation by bolding each of the lines, and you can do that as you mention each section. Here's the part of the company background that's called Making It Happen, and they talked about their dream, and in this case, what happened was is that one of the members on the team actually um, needed to obtain their GED, because this uh, was a software about getting their GED, and talked about how they've moved from getting their GED to getting their master's all because of software such as this. So it talked about the dream or, you know, kind of enhanced upon the story because, as you know, storytelling is very powerful. And they also had another press release that they had included um, about their website. And this was something that they did for Above and Beyond. And so the next slide I'm going to show you is their website, which is kind of elaborate, but um, it's very nice. You don't necessarily have to be elaborate like this, but it's uh, an interesting concept. In order for me to show you their website, and in case you create a website and you want to show your audience the website as well, you have to click into your slide deck and add an insert slide, a new slide. And then when you click on new slide, you would then go into the Office Mix and click on uh, screen recording. And this way you can record something that's on your screen and give further detail. So in this case, I'm just going to show you their Train Your Brain website, which they did a really great job. Uh, you can see they, they created um, some information about the company, about the science of their, of their product, about the services that they offer, because in addition to um, offering GED training, they also um, have a program for English as, sec as a second language to other people. They talk about how to get their apps. They have who their customers are and gives uh, testimonials as well. They have um, some modules, tutoring, premium contact. Again, like I said, they did a really great job and this was their above and beyond. They found some successful GED people on um, YouTube, and they incorporated that. They have questions about tutoring, premium content as a bonus part of their, of their page, um, doing ESL, English as Second Language uh, Tutoring. And then they also have an About uh, page. And you can see here, here are the students. You might know who they are because they are also part of maybe part of your program you might have met them so again this is what they did with training your brain uh, with their website and that they incorporated into their page now that I showed you the web page which again was on an inserted slide and then you adjust it to make it full slide so that you can walk through it you can then move forward and then continue recording on the slide following where you introduce whatever it was on the web now, the one thing that you cannot do is you can't voice over um, a screen recording. If you do, it won't let you um, include it in your video. So either you have a screen recording or you have this, um, like we have here, where it's a slide recording, and uh, but you can't, unfortunately, have both. 
And in this slide, they talked about their vision and mission statement and their goals and objectives, which were um, part of the above and beyond for this section. And um, they also included an area that dealt with their uh, values and they had animations. So you can see them one by one, including these animations along with uh, image on the screen. So these are things that they um, included so that they could get the points across one at a time. Now this next section is product description and you would have the person who was doing company background transition into the product description so that this section would be completed. In this section, the product description, it goes through the features and the benefits and they basically had a chart. Or, or an image and it talks about their features and benefits in terms of learning modules and the benefits of each learning um, app, uh, application and different modules. So again, a nice way of using graphics so that you're not using a lot of words. Here in the product description, they also did a SWOT analysis, which you're required to do and you're required to create a chart. They created a chart using word art and this word art, you can see it's clear and easy to read. It's not too small, it's not too large, but you can see everything. And when you're going through this with your presentation, you'll be able to talk about each of the different sections and, and how you're doing that. You could even um, have animation where you're doing strengths, and then after that you can have an animation for the weaknesses to show up, and have the opportunity show up, and then have the threats show up but you can be creative in what you do. Here in the product description, they also have the competitor comparisons. And once again, not using words, but just using images or illustrations. They uh, went above and beyond and they compare themselves to two other companies that do similar things. So you can see here how they did it and how easy um, it is to read and understand. Now is the market analysis section dealing with training your brain application and in here they would have a transition from the product description or service description to the market analysis. So here they have uh, the market segmentation based on age. They um, give the information so it's easy to see and clear. The market segmentation based on gender. You can see they have a chart they have a couple of points on the side. You don't even need to have those points on the side. You can actually talk through the different points. Here with the market segmentation on income, they found a really nice chart that talked about the different earnings of the individuals that would be purchasing their product and then the motivations that uh, are why people would want to purchase this product or service. Here's their marketing mix where they take all four aspects of the price, product, place, and promotion, and they um, include that within their target market. They also talk about their web presence and e-commerce. Um, they did this by just having an illustration and then walking through their website, their application, and then training your brain, which is their product. The financial analysis is the last section, and in this section, they, would, they went from, they had the person transition to this by clearly saying at the end of the market analysis what was coming up next and who would be presenting it. Here they have charts and graphs, some words, but especially in the financial analysis, you want to have charts. You don't want to have um, a lot of words except for the amount that you're looking for and the equity that you're willing to give up. So in this case, they talked about their visitors to their websites, their revenues, um, anticipated sales. They talked here about how they plan to expand given a $200,000 investment for 10% stake of their company. They showed how the company equity would be structured. And then they included, but you don't have to, their appendices or appendix. They um, talked about their letter transmittal and how it was just a thank you, how their product is an educational breakthrough and that what they requested, which was their amount invested for their equity. They also wanted to talk about their promotional pieces and let the audience know that they have prepared, they um, have prepared promotional pieces so that they can get the word out and get sales even um, up higher. 
they had a radio advertisement and um, in this case they actually had someone record a radio advertisement and they played that in class um, they talked again about their website being one of their promotional pieces talked about their goodwill letter their bad news letter and then there's a conclusion now again you don't have to include any of your appendices if you wanted to do so you could but you don't have to do that um, at this point you're going to then address some questions and there'll be a slide with a question that the sharks are going or the barracudas are going to be asking you and then one of your team members will need to respond using full screen and give the um, the response to, um, to, to the particular question so that in the end after all has been said and done you'll um, the, the audience will be able to determine who they want to invest in because they'll have that information. You will need to talk about your takeaways. Um, this company actually had these little brains that they found on Amazon.com. They were uh, kind of like stress ball brains. And along with that, they had a keychain uh, that had a little brain hanging off of it. Along with their contact information, they had business cards as well. So they wanted to have the audience take something away from them so that it had their website, their contact information, their phone number, and, um, and just kind of keep them in their mind with that cute little squishy brain that they found. So this gives you a good example. Hopefully um, you're on the right track. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Enjoy. One last thing. After you're done with your recording, it's going to save each of your recordings on your slide. You can then go back into your PowerPoint and adjust um, the pictures. You can make the pictures smaller. You can make them larger. You can put them at the top. You can put them at the bottom. You can put them in the center. You can expand them. You can make them smaller. Um, you can adjust where your image is so that you'll be able to um, so that people will be able to see your slide as well as look at you presenting it. Uh, one last thing that I wanted to mention is also um, the idea that there's uh, some transitions here on their last slide, which was the questions. But um, I wanted to mention that the slide that I went through the website with, you'll notice that that does not have a picture of me speaking. That's because, again, you can't record on something that's been recorded. So I'm going to Put this uh, uploaded and so you can look at it for your review but hopefully this all makes sense um, what's also nice is that when you are looking at your slide and recording it acts almost as a teleprompter and if you have notes like slide notes you can actually read your slide notes as a teleprompter when you're doing your presentation so it makes it look really professional again make sure your lighting is good Make sure that your background looks appropriate. Make sure that you're dressed appropriate. Um, contact uh, your other team members so that you can find out and kind of coordinate what they're doing or thinking for their background, for what they're wearing. And, um, and that's really it. I have great faith that this is going to work out very, very well. Okay, again, enjoy using this, this software, and I'll look forward to your presentations. Thank you.